Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here. In Season 5, just released for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, so we're going to be taking a look at some of this stuff and reviewing it in Zombies. So, starting off, we have the Flamethrower score streak that was added to Zombies, so all the maps that you can actually get score streaks in, the Flamethrower is now available. Now, it costs the exact same amount as the Death Machine, which is 100 blue scrap, so it's actually not expensive at all, and it's actually very effective. I, I have to admit, it is very good in zombies. I've, I went and got a lot of gameplay with it to show for you guys, even against the Valentina boss fight on Mauerd or Toten, so you guys can see actually how powerful it is. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a side-by-side -side comparison against the Death Machine, but the way I take it, I think the Flamethrower actually is better than the Death Machine in some cases, but not all. I think the flamethrower is definitely really good against the elites in the bosses. I think it's on par with the death machine in that regard. And it can actually wipe out a horde, I think, faster than a death machine and still have more ammo. Or maybe they're about even. I ha it's hard to really tell. But you'll see here, I absolutely just eviscerate hordes of zombies with the flamethrower when I whip it out. It just kills all of them really quickly, even the elites, even the panzers, it would actually destroy them and it's actually very effective against the manglers because obviously they're weak to fire and it just destroyed them. I'm actually surprised even in the boss fight the flamethrower was doing very good against the boss. I'd say it's about on par with the death machine in that regard. So when it comes down to it, it's just about what has more ammo and what does the most damage per shot really. And especially when combined with a ring of fire, but I haven't gone into full depth testing all that out, but the flamethrower is definitely worth trying out and definitely worth using. Even into the round 30s or so, there was a panzer in round 30 that we, I absolutely just destroyed with the flamethrower and not a lot of ammo wasted at all. I'm sure the death machine could do the same, but the flamethrower, it's, it's more satisfying to use right now just because it's new and also you're burning everything alive. So obviously we beat the boss using pretty much flamethrowers and Cerberuses only, so that was a lot of fun to use. And then I went to Outbreak and actually tried it out there as well, and it's equally as good. So the flamethrower is going to be your guys' new best friend. If I was to compare it to the death machine, I'd say the death machine is more of a ranged weapon, while the flamethrower is going to be your close quarters friend. So it's a lot more maneuverable, you can run a lot faster with it. I suppose you aren't very slow with the death machine in the first place, but the flamethrower is kind of like smaller, faster, more maneuverable, and more close range. Besides that, it does have a bit of range to it, but I wouldn't recommend using it outside of like shotgun range to be the most effective. The closer you are with the flamethrower, it seems the more damage it does, as most guns seem to be. And that's how I was able to take down elites really fast with it. Anyways guys, definitely check out the flamethrower, it's a lot of fun and definitely worth using. And I can't wait to test it out on other bosses and on higher rounds. But yeah, that's the flamethrower. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.